Black sea urchins are under threat at the northern reaches of the Gulf of Aqaba of the coast of Israel's Elad. This species is dying and it could spell disaster for the region's coral reefs. Sea urchins are the grazers of coral reefs. They're the gardeners. They eat the algae, which can easily outcompete corals. And once the sea urchins are gone, there is no one to eat the algae, algae grows and the corals die. The first signs of trouble appeared in the Mediterranean, where the black sea urchin, or diadamacetusum, is an invasive species. Reports from Greece and Turkey noted the creatures sickening and dying, their long black spines turning grey and skeletal. Initially, scientists suspected a chemical spill or pollution, but it soon became clear that the problem was much more widespread. They now believe a fast-spreading parasite is causing die-off and are urging authorities to do what they can to limit the damage. Unfortunately, there is nothing that can be done to stop this at the moment. What we can do and what we should do is take all actions to try and limit the impact that this disease is having on the environment. And by saying that, I refer to establishing broodstock population with the remaining surviving individuals of these species in order to be able to establish populations and return populations to the environment when the time comes in the future. The Elat region is considered a coral refuge and is renowned for its scuba diving. Its centuries-old coral structures act as a thermal barrier, providing a shield against the temperature increases caused by global heating. Without sea urchins, that ecosystem is under threat. They are key ecological players. So it's not just a species that lingers in coral reefs. It's a species that is essential for the well-being of coral reefs. And without, the, without these species, as we've seen, uh, this is not imagination. We've seen it happening in front of our eyes. Uh, and it is not a good future. The most recent findings are alarming, showing mass death events in several other countries in the region. And scientists warn that the problem could go global if quick decisions are not made. Rumeisa Chodar, TRT World.